So they're back from my Azalea. If you watched the last video on this tree, you'll know it's come a long way in the last year. It's a lot fuller and bushier now. Still got a lot of development to do, but it's looking okay so far. But it has stopped growing for the year at this point. In February, I'd normally cut my trees back to get them ready for spring. But not this time. I want to see the flowers this year, so no pruning until after the flowering. We have this little weird low branch hiding down here for some reason. Nothing is happening in April, but that's okay, as May is when the fun usually starts with these. And as you can see, we have some pink flowers starting up here. There's actually quite a lot, so hopefully they all open at the same time. I've never looked into it, so I'm not actually sure if there is like something you can do to force them to all open at the same time or not. You can see a bit better here how many flowers there actually is. This tree is really underdeveloped, not really styled at all. But you can see it's going to have a lot of potential in the future with these flowers. All these clips of the flowers were taken a few days apart. I just kept filling it over and over again just to try and get the, the best display. I really want to cut it back in winter but it's totally worth seeing these flowers now. Even if it is a slight waste of growth and energy. It's probably at its best here. The majority seem to be open. I definitely think it looks pretty awesome. And here there's a few starting to drop, but still a pretty great display. Once most of the flowers have started to drop off, it's time to prune it. So you can see it's a mess. All the flowers turn brown and wilt and fall off. So I just pulled them off and then started pruning everything back. I tried to keep some leaves on each branch I trimmed, but a few might have been cut back a bit further to bare wood. Azaleas will backbud like crazy, so it should just explode of growth after this. They can really take a good pruning. It's definitely a few steps back, but it's worth it when it bounces back so aggressively. You can see by the end it's reduced quite a lot in size. In June it's just taking a moment, collecting its energy and just adjusting to that pruning it's had. In August you can see it's pushed out a lot of new growth and it's looking a lot bushier. And here we are now. It's done great this year and we all got to see those flowers so I can't complain, it's coming along nicely. Thanks for watching, see you next time.